Hi everyone, I'm Nana. This is the third video of SFTC One Stop Sandbox Management Tutorial, where we'll understand what is sandbox preview, how do we determine whether sandbox instance is preview or non preview. We'll also understand the importance of sandbox preview, cutoff date, and best practices, followed by demo. So, as we all know, Salesforce comes up with new innovative features and product announcements three times a year, which we categorize it as uh, winter major release summer major release and spring major release. So these are the three releases which happens every year. So currently we are on winter 22 release and the upcoming release is called as spring 22 followed by summer 22 followed by winter 23. So this is how the naming convention would be for all the releases and this is how the releases happens every year. So talking about sandbox preview, the intent, uh, as the name indicates, the intent is to get early access to new features or the product enhancements and an opportunity to test existing functionality, whether it is impacted by the new release or not, because this sandbox preview, uh, the new release upgrade happens in the sandbox preview four, be four weeks ahead of the production upgrade. So this four weeks, one can uh, leverage this as an opportunity to test and report any of the issues which would impact the existing functionality because of the new release upgrade. So basically, we are identifying if there are any regression issues that we would see when production upgrade happens. So we can fix all those issues before the production upgrade. So that is the advantage of sandbox preview. Now let us understand how do we categorize whether sandbox instances preview or non preview that is very important uh, thing that we need to understand for that i log into my org desktop and from setup from quick find i key in sandbox under environments i click on sandbox and this is how the page looks like so on the top section you would see available sandbox licenses where you would see developer uh, 28 uh, licenses are available out of which seven are already consumed are in use and if you're not sure if you're very new to salesforce if you are not familiar about the different sandbox types that we have in salesforce you can go through the uh, first or uh, first session of sandbox uh, management tutorial of sftc one stop so coming back to this so the first section tells us how many sandbox are in use and how many sandbox is available so this is what it is now let's understand how do i and how do i determine whether the sandbox is categorized as preview or not preview so this is the sandbox name as you see the second column is name so let let us look at the last but one column or which is sftc one stop the one which i have highlighted and the fourth column is the location this is nothing but the instance of the sandbox which means sftc one stop is on CS95 instance. So this location is nothing but instance. All uh, sandboxes are referred as CS, customer sandbox basically. And now let us pick this instance called as CS95 and understand uh, how do we determine if it is preview or not preview. For every release, we, we publish a blog. And in that blog, we have a preview guide. So we'll click on that preview guide, which is something I have put in my SFTC one stop blog. So this is something I've already opened. This is here. If you remember, SFTC one stop sandbox is on CS95. So I copy the CS95 and I click on submit. So this is something, this page is nothing but we call that a sandbox preview guide. Here we click on submit and you see the instance type is preview. So by which we understand, okay, this sandbox falls under preview. And what, what happens if it is preview? It also says, what is what would you like to do with your sandbox? So this sandbox will be auto upgraded to the new release, which is spring 22, the upcoming one on Jan 7, 2022, Jan 8 basically. And that is something you can also cross verify from the trust info maintenance schedule page as well. So I just click on this link. And over here you see on Jan 8th, 9 a.m. IST, this sandbox will be upgraded with the new release, with the upcoming release, which is Spring 22 major release. So this is the advantage of preview sandbox. If a sandbox is categorized as preview, 
All preview sandboxes are auto upgraded on Jan 8. So this is very important point that we have to keep in mind. These all sandbox gets auto upgraded to new release on Jan 8. Now let us take another example where in this case it is CS101. If you see in the instance type is not preview. So over here we have seen instance type as preview. And over here, we are seeing another instance which is non preview. So, if you see the current release is Winter 22 because we are on Winter 22 release. And uh, again, if you have to check the maintenance really schedule, this sandbox will be upgraded to Spring 22 in the month of Feb. You see, in the month of Feb, this sandbox will be uh, upgraded to Spring 22. Let's say, suppose you would like to upgrade the sandbox. If you want the sandbox to uh, ensure that you wanted to have the sandbox with the new uh, production release, with the new release, in this case, Spring 22, you have to refresh before Jan 7, which is the cutoff date. If you refresh it before Jan 7, you will, basically, you are moving this non-preview instance, CS101, to a preview instance. That's how you can make the sandbox to have the latest release on by Jan 8th. Let's say suppose UAT sandbox is on CS101 and I have a business requirement where I wanted to make sure that this UAT sandbox has the upcoming release, up upcoming release, which is spring 22, four weeks ahead, before, four weeks ahead of the production upgrade. That is a business requirement. What I do is I check my uh, check the sandbox preview guide. The moment I realize that this is on non-preview instance, I'll go ahead and click on refresh. That's how I'm um, that's how I'm making sure that this sandbox is routed to preview instance, and I will have my sandbox ready for uh, the regression testing. Let me quickly uh, click on refresh. When you click on refresh, uh, refresh, you can choose which sandbox you would like to which sandbox license, I'll go with the um, developer. Auto activate is one option. If you don't want uh, to auto activate, you can check that. I would like to auto activate because I don't want it to monitor uh, throughout and then activate explicitly. I would let system auto activate on my behalf. The moment I hit uh, on, uh, the moment I hit on save, which means uh, the moment I initiate the uh, sandbox refresh it the first status would be pending and then uh, it, it, initially it would be in queue after few minutes or few hours or even it would take days as well then the status would get would get changed to processing so we have different status for sandbox refresh or for clone as well so now i believe you are very clear how do you categorize your sandbox whether it is preview or non-preview instance. We do it using this sandbox preview guide. Now let me come back to my PPT. And if you see here, all production updates happen in the month of Feb, June, October. So last release, winter 22 release happened in the month of October. Spring 22, the upcoming release will happen in the month of Feb. And then summer 22 will happen in the month of June. So if you look at here, if you are the four weeks before, uh, like after eight weeks of the current production release, you will have a blog post which talks about the uh, sandbox preview cutoff date. It also publishes the sandbox preview guide. So that is what we were uh, we have learned how do we use sandbox preview guide. So so this is a time where you can decide which sandboxes you would like to route to a preview instance. So you will have the upcoming release four weeks ahead, and this is the opportunity as you see here. You can use this as an opportunity to test the existing functionality and report any regression issues before it uh, uh, before the re release uh, is upgraded in your production or and packs to all your business users. So it is very important to do the regression testing. And that is where Sandbox Preview would be of great help to catch all the product issues four weeks ahead of the production upgrade. And if you are on a non-preview instance, uh, so this uh, sandbox, which are on non-preview, for example, CS101, it would get auto-upgraded along with production upgrade. As you see, it remains uh, in the current production release till Feb month.
because here in this case we are taking the example of spring 22 release, spring release to be more precise which happens in the month of Feb. Okay, as you see here, uh, sandbox can be refreshed anytime in the year. However, the release readiness, the planning, you need to do it at least eight weeks ahead. As you see here, from eight weeks, the first, the first blog post would, uh, you would see eight weeks in advance. And from there, you have to start planning. Uh, and also, you have to make sure that you have at least one full copy sandbox on preview instance and the other full copy sandbox on non-preview. Basically, if you have two full copy sandboxes available uh, over here, for example, here, if I have two, I will make sure that I have one in preview and our other one is non-preview. So I can test and see whether it is a uh, issue with the new release or it's an issue with the new keyword changes that has been introduced by the developers. So this is what we have discussed. Ensure to have at least one sandbox on preview or non-preview instance. And the cutoff date is very important for every release. Uh, as I said, uh, as I mentioned in this slide, in the blog post, you will have the sandbox preview cutoff date. For spring 22, the cutoff date is Jan uh, 6th. Based on where you are, Jan 7th for IST4, Jan 6th for uh, BST4. So basically, you can assume it is Jan 6th. And the reason why we are calling this as uh, cutoff date, because we have seen that on Jan 8th, all preview instances will be auto upgraded to Spring 22, as you could see here in the trust post. So leverage sandbox preview uh, blog, as we have seen, uh, that is best way to identify whether your sandbox is on preview or non preview instance. Okay, this is what we already covered. And one uh, commonly asked question is during preview window, can sandbox refresh be routed to non-preview? Yes, it is possible. For example, in this case, CS23, my sandbox is on CS23. However, I don't want it to be auto-upgraded on Jan 8. In that case, I can route it to non-preview instance. That way, I can avoid auto-upgradation uh, auto to the new upcoming release, in this case, Spring 22. That can be done with the help of support, Salesforce support. The other commonly asked uh, question is post preview cutoff date, which means in this case post Jan 8th, if I have to uh, refresh a sandbox and if I like to have preview instance, is it possible to do that? No, we cannot refresh any sandbox and we cannot route it to preview mode after cutoff date. So if you want any sandbox to be on preview mode, preview instance, make sure you're doing it well before the cutoff date, in this case Jan 6th. And if there is some, for some reason you are not able to do that, then you can use clone uh, feature to, you can use clone feature. For example, in this case, CS95 is on preview instance. So I can just go ahead and click on clone. By cloning the sandbox, what will happen is, uh, I will get the same release. This sandbox is on spring 22 release. I will also get the new release. So this is the only way I can, uh, I can have the new release post preview cutoff date by making use of clone feature. All right, I think uh, that's all I have for today's video. If you find this video to be informative, please go ahead and uh, like, share and subscribe SFTC One Stop YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.